But how did we go from this to this? Nobody cares about how I feel or what I'm going through. <gasps> What is wrong with you? Are you okay? I told you I used it for ministerial assignment. Ministerial what? Ministerial nonsense! And I've told you, I'm not going to be a part of whatever you call ministry. I work for my money and I earn it! Please! 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 Your useless father and I have concluded that you are going to Uncle Shah's house and you will be there for a while. Pack your load and get ready. Hello, hello, hello. This was the same mistake my father made that made me to vow never to marry a pastor. But I am not a pastor. I regret marry you! It is well. It is not well! <laughs> so Lord heal all land and touch our hearts. you bad sometimes. You get exactly what you don't want. What exactly are you talking about? That's just my perspective about life. The way I see it. Are you a writer? No. But I can give it a try. What do you think? Uh, yes. You'll be a good poet. By the way, I'm Tammy. I'm Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. I'm Where are you heading? 
honestly, I don't know. If you don't mind, you can follow me home. It's just down the road. Thank you. All right, let's go. Why did you turn back? Eh? Why did you turn back? Can't you see this is all your fault? Woman, you should be grateful that you did not get lost. Hey, let me get lost. Akonde, let me get lost. Our daughter is still out there. What is not the essence? And here you are giving me excuses and talking about Oh death. my God! Now tell me, what should I have done? Because we were right there in the middle of nowhere looking for her. Atenike, I'm tired. I am tired. Please. So this, this, this is all you, you have to say, Abi? It's okay. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you, my daughter? Fine, sir. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. How's your day been? Very fine, sir. Oh, good. Uh, this is my friend. Her name is Peace. Good evening, sir. Mm, peace. Peaceful peace. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Huh? All right, sir. Enjoy yourself. Yes, sir. I've done your laundry for you. Oh, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Don't be shy. Feel at home, okay? Mr. Adler is a very nice man. And he's my benefactor. Oh, I see. You know, when I had nowhere to go, he saw me, took me in, and adopted me as his daughter. Oh, that's so kind of him. So about your parents. That, it's a long story. The little time I've spent on this life, I've learned to face my challenges head on. You can't trust anyone to fight your battles for you. The phone is ringing. Why are you not picking? It's not you. So what, what brought you here? Oh, that's another long story. But I'll brief it for you. I used to stay with someone some time ago. But the person was not nice to me. So I had to leave. The church that got me converted took me in. And that's where Mr. Adler saw me. He adopted me as his daughter. And I've been staying here all this time. Mm. And he's been taking care of me. Wow, that's so kind of you. Yeah, it's really kind of you. Mm. Mm. We have people like that, but they are very scarce. Yeah, it's actually a good one. I've been trying to call her. She's not even picking. <laughs> Is it that something bad has happened to her? Ha, huh. God. I shall know me, Lua. I mess it up on me. Akonde? Akonde, you are sleeping. What are we going to do? Adeneke, please. Let me get some rest. Look, you should get some rest too. See? First thing tomorrow morning, we will go to the police station and lodge our complaints. Is that all right? I didn't care. Officer Kali, the woman will come out now. Say he give you five thousand. You can't write two thousand. Where the balance? Sir, that woman should be arrested. I will catch you like this. Good morning, officers. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning, Good morning, please. Um, Good morning. May I speak to the officer in charge? I am the one in charge. I see. So, how can I help you? Today? Yes, um, we have been looking for our daughter. 
She left the house two days ago and we can't find her. Have you spoken to her friends and relatives? People who can know her whereabouts? We have done all of that. Yet, nothing. Each time we try calling her lie. It drinks, but she doesn't pick up. And then, um, you said her phone rings, she doesn't pick up, and she has left home for two days. Do you know the reason why she left home? Um, um, uh, we were... We were planning to take her somewhere. Uh, uh, yes. She left home because of that? Mm, maybe, uh, we can't say. Do you know what I'm thinking? Based on the information you have provided, and then to be realistic with you, I'm thinking maybe she's been kidnapped and killed. God forbid, bad thing. My daughter will not die. She will live to testify to the goodness of God in the land of the living. So in your consideration. Um, officer. Yes. Can you please help us to organize a search party to look for her? Well, that will cost you some amounts, and then you have to pro provide us with our details. Then we can only try. All right, uh, we'll provide you uh, with the details. Um, so, how much are we looking at here? Uh, I can also assure you that if you find that, we'll give you more money. <laughs> Shut <Shansa! laughs> We will find her. In fact, dead or alive, yes, we sir. will find her. Alive, not dead. I'm sorry for you. What is this? I demand no ways to you. I said put it down! Wait, please. Wait, I, I didn't mean to yell. Please. I'm sorry. Hello, Shala. How far? It's been a while. Are you at home? I'm coming over. Hey, wait, wait, wait. You're coming where? My place. I'm sorry, it won't be possible. The other day, your mom almost beat the hell out of me because of me. See, I don't want any trouble. Okay, so just let me be. Shala. Hello, Shala. Hello. Hello. The same place. Uh, uh. Sir, we, are, we have searched everywhere. Uh, we still can't find her. I'm tired. Will you, will you shut up and, and face your job? Besides, you were there when the man said he was going to double the amount if we find her. Is that not the breakthrough you have been praying to God for? Come on, let's do our job. Let's find her and make some money for ourselves. Come on, let's go. Speak of the devil. You see now? Now the man they call now. <laughs> Hello, sir. Good day, officer. Good day. Um, I, I just want to find out about the search. Everything is going on fine, sir. Hmm? In fact, we are almost closing in on her. <laughs> Don't worry. We will find your daughter. You will see her. I can assure you that. <laughs> eh? Officer Kali! Sir. What was that? Hey, never mind, sir. <laughs> I, I can assure you. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you. Um, please, um, kindly keep us posted. We will find your daughter. You will see her. I can give you that assurance. 
Officer Kali. Sir. And what was that? Huh? Come on, let's go. Let me have that. We go this direction. Kate, it's a long story. Can't just spend some nights here. No, you can't. My boyfriend is around and he won't like this. See, I think you should go home. Your parents are worried and they are looking for you. I'm pregnant. What? Babe. Yes, sir. This is peace. You know her. Yeah, your friend, right? Yes. She'll be staying over for the night. What do you mean by she'll be staying over for the night? It's out of plan. Huh? See, I know. She's not a problem. No, she can't... is a problem. That's. No, no, no. She'll be staying in the sitting room. I'll be head over to the room. Staying here. All the plans, the things we want to do. Baby, I'm sorry. I promise I'll make it up to you. All the plans I had in my mind. Excuse me. Baby, come on. Fred! I'm so sorry about that. So, what, what are you going to do about this? How did it even happen? Huh? Or is there something I'm not telling? But please, do me a favor. Don't tell my parents my way about. Trust me, I won't. I won't tell them. Thank you. How did it even happen? My dear, it's a long story. Um, um, thank you very much, sir, for this rare opportunity. Um, but as you know, my daughter is still out there. And um, I don't know what kind of a father would abandon his daughter at a time like this and take up a ministerial appointment in the U.S. I'm very sorry, sir. I, I will have to decline. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, yes, sir. I, I hope you will understand, sir. I'm so sorry, sir. Thank you, sir. Amen. Amen. Do you know where Kate lives? I learned it's in the neighborhood. Mm, yes, sir. I have another far from here, sir. Oh, great. Can you please show me? Um, sir, I still have the black gate over there, sir. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, please, sir, who are you to her? I've never seen you here before, sir. I'm a friend of hers. Yeah. We met not too long ago. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Today, so we're going to talk about so many things, but I'm welcoming you guys to Firstly, I want to welcome you guys to my channel, which is radio station 201, which is every radio station only one. Guys, how are you guys doing?
I hope she's fine. Dear God, your daughter peace is in your hands. Wherever she is, whatever she's doing, please protect her. Be your guide. Let your Holy Spirit console her, counsel her, direct her. See, I think you should have bought as earlier suggested by your parents. Kate, you know not subscribe to that. Well, you have no choice. Relax, I know someone that can do this. He's very good at it. All will be fine, okay? <sighs> oh my god. Don't worry. It will be fine. Them, they come and hurry up. What do you want? Help yourself. Her chances to survive her is very minimal. The evacuation was fatally carried out. You see, and it damaged some vital organs in her body. I pray your daughter survives. But if she does, I'm afraid to tell you this. She won't be able to conceive again. I'm so sorry.
I'm fine. I'll be expecting. Wait, please wait. Let me explain it to you. Wait, the man in that picture is the same man I was talking about. So what do you do that makes you wait? I actually ran away. Why? Why does it matter to you so much? I just much? want to know why. <sighs> he raped me. I molested me. What? That man also raped you? You know him? Yes. He did the same thing to me. How? You know what? I'm sorry. But I have to go. But where are you going? To find answers to my problem. Well, you can only find answers in Jesus. My angel, I made this tea for you. And I hope you love your mirror. My angel, say something now. You know your mommy loves you. Say something. <laughs> So lucky. Ah, it can only be God. Only be God, my dear. Ah. Oh, About the man in the picture, why don't you contact the police? I was young and naive at that time. But when I summoned the courage, I went to them. But they didn't believe me. But they'll believe you now. And what do you mean? Mm. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. I want to pick something. Hello? I know what you did, and you know escape it this time around. So I strongly advise you to get a good lawyer because I'm going to take you down. And what was that about? To so let him know that I'll take him down. <laughs> Where did you get that from? You know, I told you we have some things in common. Yes, we
let's 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 have it. Go ahead. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Ah, I like that one. I like that one. <laughs> What's the urgency? It has happened. What? I think I'm pregnant. You think or you know? I am. Good for you. Um, so, um, who is responsible? What kind of foolish question is that one? Are you denying it or what? Denying what? That you're responsible. <laughs> Did I say something funny? Yes, my dear. Because you will not come and be telling me this trash. Me, I'm saying trash. Yes. Uh, the last time I checked, we had something together and we decided to abort it, didn't you? Good. And the second time we tried to, there was an intruder. Because I don't understand this, 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 this talk right now. Because if there is nothing that happened between you and I, definitely is it that you are playing pranks on me or you are cheating on me? See, see, see I don't have time for this nonsense. You, I, I did not come. How come, Beleko? Don't even think about it. You have to excuse me right now. Don't mind that baby now, she just did give me nonsense. Phone identified as peace called you today and she sounds so determined to take you to court so I ask you once again Charles who is peace oh, oh, I, I remember you know, there's this family I used to talk about Exactly. Um, this is their first daughter, you know. So, what did you do to her that made her sound so determined to take you down? My wife, I have nothing whatsoever to hide from you. She said, I know what you did. And this time, you are not going to escape from it. So, Charles, whatever is it she's talking about, let me know. <laughs> ah! Hey! Hey! Ah, ah! Hey! Oh, girl. Peace. She's just trying to rope me. 
Ah? Uh -huh. Accusing me of something I know nothing about. Charles, for crying out loud, you're literally making my skin crawl right now. What is it? My wife. She's accusing me of rape and sexual molestation. What? Can you imagine? Tarnishing my own image is what she's best at doing. For what? Money. Money! Look at this is wickedness. This is, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't want this. Ah, please send this. Ah, okay. No. Okay, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. If all you say is true, and they ever file a lawsuit against you, I'm going to get you a brilliant and an intelligent lawyer, and we will fight this tooth and nail to the very end. Thank you. Can you imagine? Thank you. Rape. Okay. Sexual assault. You. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank My you. husband. You are the best thing that happened to me. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Dad, mm -hmm. Mom, I want to tell you something. Yeah, what is? Please go ahead. I want to tell you who was actually responsible for my pregnancy. Who was it? Uncle Charles. The same Charles? Yes, Dad. How is that possible? It is. Because each time none of you is around, he's always at liberty to do everything he wants me to do and force himself on you. Ah! He doesn't look like someone who can do such a thing. I mean, he's a Christian, a child of God, child vibrant of God. and passionate for the things of God. You obviously don't name that. Are you kidding me? Why will he do that? Why will he rape you? I still can't comprehend this piece. Temi, right? Yes, ma. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How do you know her? Are you not Lara's friend? Yes, ma, I am. Which Lara? Lara that was there with Charles before she left him. Lara. Can't you remember Lara? I know Lara, but I don't know her. Lara. This is interesting. What is all this about? Tell me. Yes. Tell them what you told me about Uncle Charles. <laughs> Mr. Charles. He's not a very nice man. I also stayed with him. <laughs> I really miss you too, my baby. Yeah, we miss you so much, but, yeah. but of course now we are here. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What nonsense? How can my own daughter be pregnant? My dear, take it easy. No, she has to explain to me how this came about. to save me. <laughs> Rape? <laughs> now, you know what? Exactly how it went. Tell me, what happened? I was all alone in this house and a stranger from nowhere came in and raped me. Uh -huh. <sighs> what is this? In this house? Rape you? <sighs> Honey, we have to involve the police in this matter. I will make sure that bastard brought in jail. done is yes wait how wait when i left charles i heard someone was staying with him that was lara although i didn't know much of her experience but i later heard she was one of the victims oh yes virtually met and she confided in me really yes
I know you need this to break your fast. Thank you. I realize my behavior in this past month, and I know I have failed as a wife and a mother, and I want to sincerely apologize. I am very, very sorry. Please get up. Please get up. Ephesians 5.22 says, Wives should submit unto their husband as unto the Lord. I read this passage this morning and it pricked my heart. And husbands should love their wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. And as parents, we are to love our children, to guide them, and to protect them from every harm. Akonde, don't you think we are failing in this regard? But tell me, yes. how do I find the Lord? Hmm. Romans 10 9. It says, believing in your hearts. And confessing with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord. That's all. You've saved. So you mean if I confess my sins and I believe I am saved already? Yes, even verse 10 emphasizes on it. To know God's purpose for you, you need to confess and accept Him as your Lord and personal Savior. So what am I going to do? You don't need anything much. Just say this prayer with me. He's not picking. What are we going to do? What can we do? Eh? Adenike, we have made a mistake. Hmm. And we have learned our lessons. The best we can do is to pray to God to restore our daughter. Hmm. I feel he should be arrested and punished for his crime. Ah! Is it your fight? You better allow God to be the judge in all of this, my dear. Timu, yes. I have never felt this type of peace before. What do you expect? It's a prince of peace now. You know what I'm thinking? What are you thinking? Maybe I should just let it go. Let what go? The lawsuit and everything about Charles. I believe you can be the right regent. I agree with you. You have a new life now. And you need to align yourself to his purpose. Now that you're in, on a new path, you need to align yourself to God's purpose for you. Oh. I was asked to give you this. From you. Mr. Alda. Do you tell him anything about me? No. What is in there? Learn to do good. Seek justice. Help the oppressed. Isaiah 117. I think I know what God wants me to do. Let me tell me something. Please, I'm pregnant. Pregnant? Yes. How can someone like to be pregnant? See, the truth is I am. And my parents are already aware of this. Is Fred aware of it? No, Fred is not the one responsible. Then who? Is it Tunde? No. Is it Sulaiman? No. Is it Inamdi? No. Then who? Mon, a man came into my house uninvited and raped me. Raped you? Yes, mm. your family friend. My family friend? Me, mm. Charles. Charles. Mr. Charles. Mr. Charles raped you too? Hold on. <laughs> Don't tell me he's the one that got you pregnant. Yes. Not even only me. Lava and even Temi. And God knows who else. Hey. Hey, I'm no, 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 don't see that. I already plan on putting him down. Even my friends are not in support, I still plan to put him down. Wait, wait a minute first. Do you have a lawyer? Yes, my dad is a lawyer. Oh, that's fine. Our orders, please. So if I'm getting you right, you don't want the pregnancy? Yes, I don't. I want to abort it. I need to get this thing out of me. 
gate after four times. I, I was raped. Eh? Raped? You? I thought you were way smarter than that. Wait, wait, wait. What happened? And, and who even did it? He's a friend to my family's friend. And I don't know if he was stalking me or... Uh, it just happened. <laughs> So, so what do we do now? Because I will not be responsible for your death. I don't care. <sighs> okay. Um, what if I get you some pills? Hope you don't mind. That would be really nice. No, Titi. I am taking Uncle Charles to court. Are you serious? You want to do what? Dad, Mom, I don't need your permission. Whether you agree or not, I am taking him down. <laughs> do you know that he also raped kids? And he got her pregnant. Kilowi. Oh my god. Kilowi! Kate's father is a lawyer. He will handle it for us. I am taking him down. We are taking him down. Dad. Dad. I need to tell you something. Okay. Are you sure about this? Yes, sir. What of your parents? Are they in support? Mm, yes, sir. Well, nevertheless, I'm still going to speak with them. But in the meantime, I'll place a call across to someone who will get the paperwork ready. What about the other girl? Is she ready for this? Yes, yes. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Come on. You should come join me in the room. What are you doing in the guest room? Charles, I am begging you in the name of everything you own in this life and in heaven. Leave me alone. I left that room for you. Now you came to meet me in the okay. room. Okay. 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 Don't touch me, Charles. Don't even drink. <laughs> someone to court. Wow. And to make matter worse, the state is championing it. Hmm. You don't need to worry about that. In as much as if everything you say is true, it only makes matter interesting. I have to be on my way now. Have a nice day. So everyone, this is Barrister Joel Lecon from the Department of Public Prosecution. Is our state prosecuting counsel. And trust me, he's very good. 
Thank you so much, sir, for the compliment. And thank you all for coming. As a whole, aware that this is a criminal case and the state is very much interested about it. I would like to remind us that the opposition will do everything in their power to win it. So we must be on top of our game. I mean, always ahead of them. So to start with, what are the evidences we have? You were all raised by the same man. He got me pregnant and I voted for him. My daughter was pregnant. She aborted and lost her womb in the process. That is enough evidence. I'm sorry. All what you said are facts. But what proof do you have to back it up? How does it connect to Charles? Darling, this is Alice Beckham, a Harvard Law School alumna. She was one of the best in her class. Thank you. You're welcome. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Alice will be your defense counsel, so feel free to tell her everything that can help us a court. Mm, the charges are rape and sexual assault. Okay. So now the question is how do we refute the evidences they bring to court? Uh, that's a good place to start. Okay. So, Mr. Charles, do you happen to know about anything at all that can be used, you know, as evidence against you? Um, in court, anything at all? I'm not sure. What about his photograph? What photograph? The one Lara gave us a backup plan. Oh, well, that may be our starting point. But if I may ask, how did Lara get it? Um, she stole it. <clears throat> that still hasn't proved anything yet. But let's put it at the back of our mind. Something might come out of it. Do we still have any other thing? I have something. Okay. This is Charles' wedding ring. Wow. I think this might help. Good. We are getting somewhere. Yeah. I've been looking for my wedding ring. Your what now? My wedding ring. Oh, what do you mean? Okay. And um, I sense one of them two kids. Mm. And they might be using it against me. How come one of them would have your ring in the first place? My dear, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, it's possible. Mm. 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 That's okay, that's okay, that's fine. Um, so, what exactly is your relationship with these girls? I mean, who are they? How many are they? And why are they suing you? My wife knows I love to help people. Okay. And I don't hide anything from her. She knows everything. I saw some girls stranded. And I decided helping them. Mm. I... I even provided them accommodation and paid their tuition. I can't, I can't number them. I, I, I don't know how many they are, but I'm, I'm sure of two of them. Okay. Two of them. Although one of them is the one causing trouble. Mm. And that is peace. <laughs> the irony. Um, okay, so that was the same person who called your line, um, I presume? Yeah. All right. Also, Dario took an audio recording of Charles. I think he might also help. Who is Dario again? For me, the same Dario. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> okay, thank you so much, Mr. and Mrs. Edema. Welcome, sweetheart. I must mention at this point, though, if there is anything, hmm, anything at all you think will be useful for this case, please be sure to let me know in good time. Mr. Charles, if there's any piece of information that might be used against you as evidence in court, please bring it to my notice. Okay? I'll be in touch. You'll be in touch, too. All right? Um, I'm just a phone call away anytime you need me. Cut!
Court is now in session. Honorable Justice Eniola Rogers presiding. Call the first case. Charge number ACE slash 334 slash 2021 between the state and Charles Edema. My lord, the accused is present in court. Any representation? Yes, my lord. With profound humility to this honorable court, I am Joel Oko. My appearance is for the state. Any representation for the accused person? Yes, my lord. With respect to this honorable court, I am Alice Beckham, and I humbly announce my appearance. In the light of the sensitivity of this case, I've decided to limit the number of persons in court to the family members and press men. The case borders on allegation of rape and sexual assault, and it was adjourned for trial today. State Council, do you have your witnesses in court, and are you ready? Yes, my lord. We have our witness in the court, and we are ready to proceed with trial. Okay. Our defending counsel, are you ready? Very much so, my lord. Thank you. State counsel, you may proceed. I've read the written addresses and statement of oath presented by both sides in this case. Well done. Excellent on both sides. In light of short time frame and in the interest of exigency, we will avoid oral testimonies if counsel agrees and air this case on the basis of the written addresses and oral argument of counsel. Yes, sir, my lord. Let's hear it. Thank you, my lord. We have reasons to believe the oral testimony of others, especially the witnesses to his crime, who further help this case. In that case, the court will decide on what to do based on your argument today. So, if counsel is ready, Barrister Okun, you may proceed with your argument. Thank you, my lord. My lord, this is not a difficult case. Just as the court has seen it in the written addresses and the statement of oath, my lord, we strongly believe that Mr. Charles Edema raped victim in this case and got her pregnant. And this led to her taking a drastic decision by committing abortion, thereby losing her home. My lord, we have the doctor's report as an evidence to back it up, and this is our exhibit A. My lord, it brings to us a question. As a girl at this tender age, who subjects herself to that dangerous things, knowing full well the consequences, if not for what she has seen and heard about Mr. Charles Edema, being a rapist and a psychopath. Objection, my lord. Objection sustained. Bali Saokon, would you refrain yourself from using such terms until they are confirmed? Yes, my lord. And as for the audio tape recorded by this young lady, we have seen it clearly that Mr. Charles Edema, he replicated what he has done to peace, my lord. And Kate, being a smart girl, took something important from Charles Edema in case he denies it. And that is his wedding ring and the exhibit B. If not that, Mr. Charles gone out there to rape her and now denies it. My lord, to cap it all, at the moment the victim here got pregnant, the parent actually wanted her to stay with Mr. Charles. But Mr. Charles was nowhere to be found. He disappeared. Now, this clearly shows that Mr. Charles here had his conscience pricked which can be termed as being guilty. My lord, in the light of the evidence standard in this court, I will pray that this honorable court will find the accused being guilty as charged. They are most grateful. Miss Alice Becker. My lord, um, it is quite unfortunate that my learned colleague seems to have succeeded in 
painting my client here, Mr. Charles Edema, in a bleak and gruesome picture. I mean, it is not news that my client is a site engineer who goes from city to city executing assignments and projects. Regardless of whatever um, ties he has with the parents of uh, the complainants, I believe he should not be prevented from doing his job or carrying out his basic duties as a husband to his wife. He was going to meet his wife having completed an assignment and I do not see how that is a crime. With regards to the rape allegations, my lord, um, as presented to this honorable court in our written addresses and statements of oath, my client is a good man. He's a man who loves God and who loves people and would stick his neck out to be sure that people around him are doing okay, which was what he was doing by providing accommodation to these ladies, literally putting a roof over their heads. He even went as far as paying their tuition. And so you want to ask me, why would people who this man is trying so hard to help be determined to stab him in the back, bring him down and rob him into something that he did not do, if not for money? Objection, my lord. Ah. Objection sustained. Cancel. Refrain from using such words that are yet to be confirmed. Yes, my lord. And as for the ring, my lord, Miss Kate could have easily taken that without um, the consent of my client. I mean, it's an established fact that she, Miss Kate, is a person of extremely questionable character. And uh, as for the audio recording, my lord, technology, technology has so much advanced to the point that anybody's voice can be cloned. As long as there is no visual proof stating or pointing to the fact that my client was in the room the day that recording was taken, then permit me to say that that piece of evidence does not hold water because it could have been anybody's voice. Thank you, my lord. I've read the file and heard the argument of counsel. But contrary to Barisa Okon's opening assertion, this is a difficult case. And I must say that it is inevitable that both sides in this dispute are going to lose something and find their respective desires not totally satisfied. However, there are some strong and some weak arguments on both sides. And at this point, the court deems it fit to welcome oral testimonies. This court is in recess. Court shall rise. session was active. My dear, very, very, very. I feel like we're going to lose this I'm case. I don't even know what to do. What are we going to do now? Uh, there is nothing we need to do that will dig deeper. Yeah, we, we need to dig deeper. Tell me about those numbers behind the photograph. Oh, that's true. It can help this case. We need to talk to the lawyer. Yes, we need to talk oh, to let's him. Let's go meet him. Yes, we need to talk to him. This is his photograph, and here are the numbers of women that were victims. Wow. Have you spoken with any of them yet? Yes, I have. And are they willing to testify? I was even suggesting we serve them his opinion. Wow. That's a good suggestion. That won't be necessary. They assured me that they would testify. Mm. Yeah. Excuse me. If that is the case, we are good to go then. Do you know Charles Edema? Yes, sir. Very you. well, sir. Can you please tell this honorable court your encounter with Mr. Charles Edema? Um, I'm a fruit seller, sir. And he, he was a supervisor at the site where I used to sell fruits. And he, he's, he's a very good customer. But one day he... He forced me into his office and he raped me. There was nobody to help me. I, I, I couldn't scream and it was just all over me. Later I found out that I was, I was pregnant and when I told him, he asked me to go to one of his doctor friends who aborted the pregnancy for me. 
I didn't want to do it, but he, he, he threatened to kill me if I don't do it. That's all now for now. Hello. Um, Miss Rita, you are a single mother of five children, is that correct? Y yes, ma'am. Yes. All right. A single mother of five children. Okay. Uh, did you bear all these five children for the same man? Uh, no, ma'am. Could you speak a little louder, please? No, ma. Okay. Um, you say you were forced into my client's office. Can you give a vivid description of the office you were dragged into? Take a look at this man. Do you know him at all? Yes, very well, sir. Thank you. Can you tell this honorable court his name? His name is Charles Edema. Thank you. Please, can you tell this honorable court your experience with Charles Edema? <laughs> Mr. Charles Edema is a very nice man. God fearing. God has really used him for me in so many ways. Did he rape you or touch you in any form at all? Hello. No, not at all. My lord, it's unfortunate that the remaining three witnesses could not make it to court today. Based on the reason we believe will be beyond them. It shouldn't be their intention to disappoint. And it's also disheartening that this woman will come all the way to tell a lie. After she has confided the nurse to say nothing but the truth, I will plead this court to please disregard anything that she might say. Maybe because she's not okay for now. What? How dare you say that? How dare you say that? My lord, you can only back on the account of the false testifier as being the truth. And as she's rightly said, that Mr. Charles Edema threatened to kill her if she refused to comply with his demand. My lord, with much respect, I will urge this honorable court to bring justice to this. Thank you, my lord. It is quite laughable that my learned colleague here would want this honorable court to conclude that his witness has suddenly become delusional because her testimony did not favor him. My lord, there is no point wasting the time of this honorable court. I mean, five witnesses were summoned, two of them showed up, and uh, based on what we have heard from these two people, it is proven beyond reasonable doubt that my client, Mr. Charles Sedema, is innocent of all the charges levied against him. What more do we need? Thank you, my lord. Thank you, yes, of course. Of course. <laughs> yes, fantastic, brilliant, yeah. All right, all right, yes. Have a wonderful day, and you too. Bye, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who was that? That was Eniola Rogers himself. And he said I should commend you. You did a brilliant work out there. Mm, well, <laughs> what can I say? That's how we do. Um, let's not forget, though, that this is lap two of three. One more lap to go, and um, we know where we're at. We've already won this case. And if we win, what then? Uh, how about we win it first? When we get to that bridge, we cross it. But for now, we celebrate. Oh yes, we celebrate! Alice, you are intelligent. Thank you very much. That was a brilliant performance. And here's to always winning. Mm. Here's to victory. Okay. Cheers everybody. Cheers. Cheers.
Maybe we should still try and call other witnesses to appear. Or we should issue them a subpoena like Peace earlier suggested. You see, we need something bigger. Something unexpected. I mean, something that will blow them in the face. And how do we get that? Are your parents at home? Yes. I'd like to speak with them. My lord, before you proceed to the final judgments, I would like to bring to the stand one more testifier. Please bring her. Thank you, my lord. Do you know Mr. Charles Edema? Yes. Please, can you tell this honorable court your experience with him? Ten years ago, he promised he was going to marry me. But instead, he raped me and got me pregnant. He threatened to kill me if I didn't abort the pregnancy, but I didn't listen. I was attacked. I managed to escape, then I ran away. Good. So after that, what happened? I came to this town to hide because I was scared of him. And he probably thought that those he sent to kill me actually succeeded because I was terribly wounded. When I came here, I wanted to abort it, and I met this doctor who, instead of aborting it, felt compelled to tell me not to, and so I kept it and carried out a DNA test. Did you carry out the test? Yes, I did, with the help of the doctor um, who went extra mile. I did that, Yolua Bukumi. Please stand. Based on all the charges against you, Mr. Charles Edema, this honorable court has found you guilty. And according to the law of this land, you are hereby sentenced to life imprisonment. Arise. me i'll be searching for the real peace in my head where i'm dreaming whenever i think it would rather be fun it would rather be fun mm, it would rather be fun where the fathers mean no harm and the mothers love with passion And the children have no lack It would rather be fun It would rather be fun Cause I'm searching for a perfect, perfect No more keeping grudges 
Brothers, sisters, loving. Heart is gone for giving. And messy rain is pouring. It would rather be fun. 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 It would rather be fun